Welcome to such a gorgeous day here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. It's Bill and Rosalie Furler and we are having a good time. We hope you're having a happy day with us. It's 5am, springtime. Hope you enjoy the flowers. The wonderful sunrise and the wonderful name of Jesus. Let the world proclaim what a lovely name. Kings and kingdoms will soon pass away, but there's something about that name. Yes, Jesus, Messiah, the Anointed One, Yeshua. How powerful is His name. All of heaven backs up the name of the Son of God. In the book of Luke chapter 9, one day Jesus called together his 12 disciples and gave them power and authority to cast out demons and to heal all diseases. Yes, Jesus gave his disciples power and authority by his name. Then he sent them out to tell everyone about the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And in Luke chapter 10, after these things, the Lord appointed 70 others also. And he sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. Then he said to them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Behold, I send you out as lambs amongst wolves. Now how about this? He said, don't take any money with you, nor a traveler's bag. Yes, we're all called to be missionaries. And the main thing to take is the power of the wonderful name of Jesus. We may have our cases packed to the brim, but unless we know the power and authority in the name of Jesus, we need to stop and fill ourselves up with the power of the Holy Spirit and have His Word burning in our heart. Verse 16, the same chapter, Then He said to the disciples, Anyone who accepts your message is also accepting Me. And everyone who rejects you is rejecting Me. And anyone who rejects me is rejecting God who sent me. Another wow, how about that? Think about it. And when the 72 disciples returned, they joyfully reported to him. They said, Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Yes, he told them. I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. And you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will hurt you because I'll be with you. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that same time, Jesus was filled with with the joy of the Holy Spirit. And he said, O oh, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it pleased you to do it this way. Be encouraged today on such a wonderful morning. I'm a child again and believe the Father and what he says. We want to offer a hearty congratulations to our grandson Caleb and Ashley, his fiancée, as they celebrate their engagement. Looks like someone photobombed them. I want you to have a great week and God really bless you. <laughs>